Shalom, shalom, it's your brother here, Yaconin. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Wakakwadash, Barakat Thumb. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. And salutations out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I want to say Shalom, okay? Today's lesson is going to be about really only men can obtain and receive this truth that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has bestowed, okay? And this ain't nothing to downplay the woman or nothing like that. It's not what this is about. This is just to edify maybe the new, the new, the newer people coming into the truth and to edify maybe the woman and maybe some younger men so they understand only the men that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are dealing with are going to be able to receive this truth 100%. Okay, we're going to bring out precepts to prove that. All right, we're going to go into the scriptures and prove everything we're saying because that's what we do. Scriptures say prove all things. And ain't nothing better to prove than using the scriptures. We'll start with Proverbs 8 and 4. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. And that's that's really that's really plain as day. So the Lord, when the Lord calls, he's calling the men. Because the men are, are the leaders. The, the men are the one that sets the precedent for the nation. All right, and that's why what Esau has done now, they have set men um, and, and made them feminine, made them feminine and have the woman rule over them. And that's why you see America being the way it is, all soft and feminine and obese and fat and, 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 and insecure and, and uh, lack of self-esteem and confidence. It's because they set, well, first off, a base man is in charge, a weak man, which is Esau, who has set a woman who was a follower in charge and then made men who are feminine be the celebrities and so-called shot callers. Okay? And that's why America is doomed for destruction, man. Uh, we can go to Ezekiel 34 and we'll start at 9. We'll just prove that. Um, we'll start at 7. Therefore, ye shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. And when you go into the word shepherds, you know, 99% of the time, shepherds, the ones that are leading the flock, are males. You know what I mean? It's very, very unlikely and rare that a woman is leading those sheep. You know what I mean? And you go into the flock, it means, you know, to shepherd, it means, you know, to shepherd of ruler, teacher, as people, as flock, a shepherd, herdsman. Another word for a shepherd is a herdsman. Not a herdswoman, a herdsman. Okay? Then we go to verse uh, 8. As I live to the Lord... Yahweh, surely because my flock became a prey and my flock became meat to every beast of the field because there was no shepherd. Neither did my shepherds search for my, my flock, but the shepherds fed themselves and fed not my flock. Therefore, all you shepherds hear the word of the Lord. OK, and then we'll go down with we'll to make that clear that shepherds are men. They're males, herdsmen. OK, we'll go down all the way to Ezekiel 34 and 31. And it concludes all that. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture are men. Are men. It doesn't say men and women. It specifically says men. And I am your God, said the Lord. So again, the Lord's pasture are men. The Lord is truly dealing with men right now, man. All right. Revelation 21 and 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of Yahweh is with men. Didn't say men and women, specifically said men. And he will dwell with them and they shall be his people. And Yahweh himself shall be with them and be their power, their God. So there you have it again. The tabernacle of Yahweh is with men. It's not women. Right? It's men. All right. And these are these are clear cut, man. There's, there's no really arguing with this. Uh, where are we at? Okay, here we are. We'll go to Sirach or otherwise known as Ecclesi Ecclesiasticus. What is it? 1 in 13? 1 in 13 we can start with. Whoso feareth the Lord, it shall go well with him at the last. And he shall find favor, favor in the day of his death. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And, you know, that's a, that's a precept of Proverbs 1 and 13. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. 
You know, the Lord said, I sanctify thee before the womb to be a prophet unto the nations. Only men can be prophets, you know, roughly paraphrasing. All right. Only men can testify. OK, going into the word testify, you have to have testicles in order to testify. And only men have testicles. OK, only men can testify. Only men can prophesy. OK, she had built an everlasting foundation with men. There you have it, men, clear cut. And she shall continue with their seed. Okay, we can go into the numbers. Because it's going to go into how that the, the congregation and the bloodline uh, comes from the father. Okay, Numbers 1 and 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families. Pedigrees go into the word pedigrees. It means seed, bloodline, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. And they have the pedigrees after their fathers by the house of their fathers. Okay, and that's just clear cut. You know, seed line, blood line comes from your father. All right, I mean, that's that's pretty clear cut. Uh, Jeremiah three fifteen, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And who are those pastors? Those pastors are men. All right, because it's all for a woman to even teach according to scriptures. All right, because I us are not a what is it? In Timothy, I us are not a woman to teach or use a power over a man. So we know that women can't be pastors. Women can't be teachers. Women can't break down the scriptures without her head teaching her. All right. The Lord is dealing with men. All right. It's, it's, it's clear cut and plain as day. All right. Job 36 and 7. He withdraweth not his eyes from the righteous, but with kings are they on the throne. Yeah. He did establish them forever and they are exalted. It says, but with kings are they on the throne, not queens, not princesses, kings are on the throne. And then when you talk about the kingdom, the kingdom just means docile of kings, dominion of kings, where the kings dwell. It's not queendom, it's kingdom, where the kings are going to be exalted, where the kings are going to be in a, a, a high up. All right, not like you got in this world where a woman has surpassed a man. Where the women are, are, are favored in the society. All right. The kingdom's not going to be like that. The kingdom's going to be in its rightful order. All right. The woman going to know their place. Because the Lord already gave the order. It goes Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, woman, kids. So if Yahweh Shai is our, is our head, who's the woman's head? It's the man. The man's above the woman. That's that's like clear as day, bro. Only people that argue that is, is Babylonians, man. Because Esau has... Has made up his own so-called order, which is blasphemy and wickedness. Where they try to say a woman is equal to a man. All that feminism bullshit. Alright? But when we get in the kingdom, everything's going to be in his rightful order. Numbers 27, 17. Which may go out before them, and which may go in before them, and which may lead them out, and which may bring them in. That the congregation of the Lord be not a sheep which have no shepherd. And we went into, you know, shepherds can only be males, you know, for the most part. All right. So, you know, I just wanted to bring out some scriptures to prove that the Lord is true and dealing with the men. And this truth, a woman can't really know 100 percent of this truth because it's given only to the men to receive this truth. And even two thirds of our men can't receive this truth. So what makes you think women are going to go ahead and jump those men to receive this blessing, man? Hey, woman can't even get over the fact that they're going to be sharing a man in the kingdom. 
They they think they only gonna have one man in the kingdom, bro. We're gonna have thousands and thousands and thousands of wives, bro, and concubines. And women can't even fathom that. So how can they fathom this truth, which is far more deeper than just that? That's basic. That's basic knowledge that a man's gonna have more than one woman, bro. And women can't even get over and fathom that because their feelings, man, their emotions. Women are emotionally led. Women, men actually think with logic, logical forethought. I admit to the Lord, don't let their emotions uh, cloud their judgment or their future, man. They actually are thinking, you know, and can foretell things in the future because they have that mental fortitude to do so. All right. And that's what it's going to be, man. There's no, there's no debating with the scriptures. The Lord is only dealing with men and it's plain as day. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak, Wadash, Barak, and Thumb. I want to give double honors to the elders and the pastor of the Great Millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth and salutations out there to the hopeful elect. The brothers are to put this word diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I want to say Shalom.